Tinubu supporters in the UK who are supporting the evacuation of Igbos in Lagos are now running to Nigeria. <laughs> Is that not ridiculous? These are the same set of people who are saying Igbo will leave our land. This and this and this and that. Now, Kataladon bus for UK. Everybody, they fear. Especially the immigrants are afraid. You see, what goes around comes around. Definitely what goes around comes around. So, you see this life. Some people will begin to get the judgment, the repercussion of the atrocities they have committed and they are committing. Even this government that thinks that hey, everything is fine. They can do and undo. Nothing will happen. Tinubu is busy appointing uh, uh, people here and there. Even in the midst of uh, this uh, hunger hardship or hunger protest, that the cost of governance is too high. But he doesn't listen. They said they are going to be uh, distributing rice or selling rice, uh, 40,000 naira per bag to workers. Again, now they have pushed up on it. Again, they are talking about a CNG. They are contacting a innocent motors, which of course we know that's all not fake. If you have collected or if you know somebody who has collected this a student loan, because they will tell you it has not started, it has started. We were told last year, September, that it will start last year, September. Now, this is another one year. But at the end of the day, by the time you see them telling us that they have given some set of people, you will see that they are APC members, just very maybe two uh, percent of the population or those who are supposed to get it will be getting it two percent can you just see just imagine that so all those who are saying hey lagos is no this thing lagos is not for you go back to your this go back to your that even that you buy your no longer and you can see that all those people who are involved in all this uh, uh bigotry all this uh, racism in the uk they have been dealt with they are beginning to send, you know, a charge, send some of them. They have sent some of them to, to jail. Two, three years. That by your number supposed to be a scapegoat. Just like uh, somebody said that Tinubu is talking about a ethnic a, a crisis that will not be allowed. But it's abhorring by your Ononu Gade, the chief uh, officer of a uh, open bag lottery. Sad, this is unfortunate antecedents of previous incidents involving all these uh, things that are not good. England, now what for them? Oh? I don't even understand uh, this old thing. Some people are trying to go back to the UK, while some people are now rushing to come back. Now, that is the uh, 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 irony of life. This is a challenge to many Nigerians who always desire to go to UK and see, okay, be by hook and crook. Many Nigerians, their targets to stay in Europe is UK for greener future, as they claim to be. But if it is found necessary, can Nigerian governments be able to fit, lift them all back to home with the current social economic crisis in the country? Hey, if that is the case, I advise it. Tinubu to seek for financial assistance from those politicians who were accused of stealing public funds of Nigeria. To assist, really assist fire. <laughs> to assist fire, mm. protection of Nigerians abroad. <laughs> Where you are, when things are not even right in Nigeria, we hear that uh, some of them will be coming back. That the Nigerian government have to lift most Nigerians or Nigerians in in, in the UK. But uh, the, the the one take away from this whole thing is that can you just say? Uh, Imagine that uh, those who are saying, ah, Lagos, leave Lagos, leave Lagos. Now they can't come. Oh. I saw one video of a guy now who is saying that he has left the UK. These are the supporters of Tinubu. These are the supporters of Tinubu. This other guy is not even talking again. Uh, whether they call a grandson or something grandson, he was so big on this uh, ethnic bigotry. Whether we, I don't know. Of course, since uh, he has been jailed, for all those uh, rubbish thoughts on social media, inciting uh, ethnic bigotry here and there. He has been in the UK, but he was causing trouble in Nigeria. But before you could say Jack Robinson, they jailed him. Since then, I think they banned him from social media also. 
and he has not been talking. If not, with what is happening now in Nigeria, with all these uh, Nono guys and the rest of them, oh, he would have been the one championing it from, from, from the UK. But now we can't even hear him. But see what is happening now. See what is happening now. That is why you need to be careful. But unfortunately, a lot of people who call themselves human beings, they don't even learn. They don't learn. They always believe in what they are going to, what they are doing at that particular time, which is very, very unfortunate. Very, very, very unfortunate. So some of them are now running back. Some of them are waiting for the government to lift them back to the to the Nigeria. Which, of course, <laughs> forget about it. Maybe it is uh, this man, since he's now running UK now, what's his name? Epis, because he's the one who has always been bailing out the government when it happened in South Africa. When it happened in, in Sudan, was this Southern Sudan also? The same thing. He was the one who was always rescuing the government, but you now expect this government to lift anybody. Forget about it. So, guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this.